now i come to the point of the complexive statement so this is the syntax of the complexive statement complexive statement is basically needed when, whenever we are going to check more than two conditions if the two condition if, if we are going to or wish to check only two conditions then uh, we uh, always use the compoundive statement but if we are going to check more than two conditions then we need the complexive statement in case of complex statement you can see uh, first i write the if block and then give the uh, condition one then statement one then i write else if i am just adding in another condition and uh, in the else block of the first if and here i write the condition two and then after write the statement two and then the else block clump uh, for this if statement so this is the structure of the or syntax of the complexive statement suppose if the condition one is become true then statement one is going to execute and if the condition one is uh, true so statement one execute so rest of the portion is not going to uh, ex uh, not going to only execute uh, rather it is not going to also being checked okay so control is completely goes to this portion and after completing the all the lines which is written in this statement one are execute and then the control goes out the next uh, block of the program now if the condition one is for become false then it the control comes to the this else block and there is another condition that is condition two so condition two is then check so condition is going uh, to is, go, uh, is going to check when the condition one become false so con now if the condition two is true then statement two will going to execute and if the uh, condition two is true so statement two is execute and then the rest of the other portion that is maybe may, uh, else or maybe if there are may another kind of else if block so rest of the other portion of this complex if uh, statement is not going to check and not going to execute so after doing this if the condition 2 is no, uh, be, uh, become true then statement 2 is execute and if the condition 2 is not true it means it become false then the control goes to the else block and statement 3 is going to execute so when the statement 3 is execute when the condition 1 become false and condition 2 becomes false that means all the conditions written in the complex if become false then the else block of the complex if statement is going to execute so in case of complex if the else block only execute when the all conditions written in the complex if statement is become false now how can we determine how many if condition uh, we are going to use or we are going to write it is completely depend upon the uh, question uh, which you are going to solve if there are in the question there uh, are five condition you are going to check then you have to write four if conditions okay suppose the uh, uh, in the question paper or in the question there are five condition is given and you are going to check the five conditions so you are going to write if condition one if condition two then again else if condition three then again else if condition no, four then just i am writing the else portion because as the in the question there is a five condition you are going to check so i have write the four condition only only four conditions so four conditions retained and the last one the remaining one condition is automatically goes to the else block so in this way we can uh, ma manipulate how many if conditions is written in complex if statement now i am going to do a program using the complex if statement in this portion of the program you can see i have already uh, written some uh, segment of the program by which we can input three numbers suppose in, which are going to store in the variable n1 n2 n3 now i am going to check which number actually the maximum or greatest number by using the complex if 
so i am writing here if n1 suppose is greater than n2 and to become a uh, the maximum uh, number from in between the three numbers n1 must to be if the n1 is the maximum number then n1 must to be greater than the n2 and as well as the greater than n3 so both the uh, greater than is uh, must to be established and uh, then after only n1 become the maximum number so first condition is n1 greater than n2 and the second condition is n1 must to be greater than a n3 and both the condition is must to be maintained and for the, the, that reason i have written the ampersand sign in between these two condition that is n1 greater than n2 and n1 greater than n3 and then after writing print f uh, the maximum number is n1 now in the else if block i am just going to write uh, whether n1 uh, now uh, n1 is already checked so in the else if block i am going to check whether the uh, n2 is the greatest number or not and for uh, to become the n2 become the uh, uh, maximum or greatest number among the n1 n2 and n3 n2 must to be greater than the n1 and as well as uh, n2 must be greater than the n3 so then after i we can write printf the maximum number is no, no, n2 Now you can see if the first condition that is n1 greater than n2 and as well as n1 greater than n3 both are true then this portion is going to execute that means n1 become the maximum number if the condition any one of these condition is become false then the control goes to the lc block now which condition becomes uh, false then the control goes to the lc block in case of the logical and operator when the first condition is become false it is not going to check the next condition it means that if n1 greater than n2 is true then it is going to check whether the n1 is greater than n3 or not but if the first condition that is n1 greater than n2 is become false then in case of the logical and operator the second condition which is written in here that is n1 greater than n3 is not going to check so this is uh, this is the special uh, typical uh, type of operational type of logical and operator so in case of logical and operator if the first condition become false then the next condition is not going to check rather the control goes to the else block so uh, it uh, if the n1 uh, become n1 greater than n2 becomes false or n1 greater than n3 becomes false either n1 becomes false then the control goes to the a this else if block and then after it is going to check n1 n2 uh, greater than n1 and as well as n2 greater than n3 and if it is uh, this condition becomes true then the n2 becomes uh, maximum and uh, this uh, statement is going to execute and if the uh, these two conditions become false it means n1 is neither uh, greater than n2 and nor greater than n3 and as well as n2 nor greater than n1 and nor greater than uh, n3 and so n3 is automatically become the uh, maximum or greatest number among these three numbers so for this reason i am uh, i have written here that uh, in the else block the maximum number is n3 now i am going to run this program so enter the first number suppose i am giving the first number is 15 and the next number is suppose 16 and uh, third number is 20 so among these 20 is the maximum number 
so 15 is going to store in the uh, variable n1 and uh, 16 is going to store in the variable n2 and as 20 is going to store in the variable of n3 so uh, 20 is uh, you can see the 20 is the maximum or greatest number among these three numbers so uh, let's see what the output is yes, output giving is the maximum number is 20 in this case the last else block is going to execute suppose if I'm going to run this program again and giving the values such like 15 20 and 5 so 15 is going to store in the variable n1 and 20 is going to store in the variable n2 and 5 is going to store in the variable n3 now in this case 20 is the maximum number and which is stored in the variable n2 so the lc block lc block is going to execute and you can see here the maximum number is 20 and it is generated by executing the lc block uh, because this condition becomes true and uh, the statement of the lc, uh, LC block in this case is executed uh, now if i am going to run this program again and just inverting the number suppose that is 20 and next one is 15 and next one is 5 so you can uh, 20 is going uh, basically store in the variable n1 and 15 is basically store in variable n2 and 5 is basically store in n3 in this case 20 is the maximum number so yes it shows the result the maximum number is 20 now the first if condition is becomes true and for this reason the first uh, the statement of the first if block is executed here so in this way actually complex if work now i'm going to discuss about the nested if